Hello everyone. I'm making this video to back up my claim about the Bible surviving through fires. In one of my latest videos I was talking about how people have been emailing me about a comment that I made on a YouTube video and all I did was post scripture and when I posted the scripture, people are telling me that the Bible is fake. It's not real. That it was written by scribes. It was written by man. And it's not God's word. So, I said, in, I think it was my video before last, where I said that the Bible has survived fires. So I have three articles, and they're, they're pretty recent. This one here says, In a church's ashes, firefighters find unexpected survivors, Bibles untouched by flame. And this one is dated from March 5th, 2019. Look at all those Bibles. Ashes everywhere. Their entire church burnt down and the, Bible, the Bibles remain. March 5th, 2019, right here. And this was in West Virginia. The second one is a house that was burnt. And it says, Despite the struggle to piece their lives back together, three remnants from the fire are giving them hope. A wooden cross still hanging, and it was wood. He said it was intact perfectly, and it's wood. One of the firemen came out of the house and he came out with not one but two Bibles. The one I gave my wife and the one my son gave my wife. So two Bibles and a wooden cross was in perfect condition and the house burnt. In Fort Mitchell, Alabama. See the house burnt? The cross remained and so did the Bibles. And here's the third one. A man's Bible untouched after fire destroys his home. This is December 31st, 2018. And this was in Texas. A Texas man has only one of his possessions left after his home and everything in it was destroyed. He was awakened by the smell of smoke and immediately ran out of his small home. Everything was lost, but his Bible somehow survived the blaze. He said his, wo his word would not perish and the Bible did not burn. See? God said his word would not perish and the Bible did not burn. So, to all the people who say the Bible is not God's word, like this man said, God said his word would not perish. It did not perish. I just showed you three different incidents of fires. This is proof right here. God's word will not perish. It's truth. God's word is the truth. It's a witness and it's a guide for our lives. It's a witness that Christ died for our sins and he arose on the third day. It's a witness of his commandments and it's a witness of the beginning of time. That is our Father. Yeshua Christ is our Savior. 
and the Bible is our guide. Thank you for clicking in. Have a wonderful night.